Mama June Shannon shuts down rumor of CPS case involving Pumpkin Shannon and Josh Eford's children, confirms Josh is living with his new girlfriend. Mama June Shannon took to Facebook this week to shut down a rumor circulating online that Child Protective Services, CPS, has stepped in amid her daughter Lauren, Pumpkin, Shannon split from husband Josh Eford. As the Ashley reported earlier this month, the Mama June, family crisis couple who are parents to six-year-old daughter Ella, three-year-old son Bentley and two-year-old twins Silas Ray and Stella Renee called it quits after six years of marriage, with Pumpkin filing for divorce on claims that her and Josh's marriage was irretrievably broken. While Pumpkin and Josh's divorce news came as a surprise to many of their fans, the split had seemingly been in the works for a while, as it was soon reported that both parties were already dating other people. Pumpkin has since hard-launched her relationship with boyfriend Darren Kitchens and Josh is reportedly dating a woman named Keeley. Amid recent rumors of a CPS case involving Pumpkin and Josh's four children, Mama June told fans on Wednesday that she wanted to speak on the situation, while also providing some clarity on her grandchildren's current living arrangement. She also confirmed that Josh is already living with his new girlfriend Keeley. Keeley is currently pregnant, and Pumpkin's new boyfriend Darren is rumored to be the father. However, June clarified in the post's comment section that the baby daddy will be determined when it's born. There is no CPS case, June wrote. The kids don't live with Josh's mama, Josh doesn't live with his mama, he lives with Keeley and Pumpkin lives in the family home. As the Ashley previously reported, Josh and Pumpkin had been leasing to own the home they shared, but prior to their split, they decided that Josh's name would be removed from the contract of the home. Per the agreement, Josh was given 60 days to move out of the residence, however, June claimed this week that Josh and Keeley are still staying at the family home when it's his week with the kids. The Ashley is doing her best to translate June's punctuation free, run on rant. Right now every other week, Josh and Keeley stay at the family home with kids on their weeks they have them cause the kids don't do well if they ain't at home to go to sleep, June wrote. That is, their safe spot always has been. In the post's comment section, June confirmed that Josh and Keeley switch off staying at the house with Pumpkin and possibly Darren. June also said that Pumpkin and Josh's children are with one of their parents, 100% of the time, aside from when either her or Josh's mom, aka, Gam Gam, are watching the kids when Josh and Pumpkin are working. We are there for both of them, she wrote. I have told both of them if you need someone call us and Gam Gam has done the same. In her lengthy Facebook post, June also addressed those who have been dragging Pumpkin, Josh, Darren or Keeley in recent weeks, reminding fans that people get divorced every day and her family just happens to be on TV. She also insisted that she has no ill will towards her son-in-law, however, she said the rumors that Josh hates her are probably true. That's okay, she said in response. Regarding Pumpkin and Josh's respective new relationships, June told fans, there is a lot of the story that people don't want to talk about, though she claims both Darren and Keeley have known both sides of that story for years and knew what they were signing up for when they began dating Pumpkin and Josh, respectively. I will leave you with this, she wrote. Some people close to the situation is going to spin it the way they want but everything I mean everything that is in the dark will come to the light eventually and believe that. June went on to say that the seven children involved Josh and Pumpkin's four kids, Darren's two kids and Keeley's child are the most important at the end of the day, no matter how much mud is being thrown right now. So think about that, she wrote. There is three sides to everyone the truth some lies and in the middle a combination, just sit on that and think. I'm not posting to bash anyone I'm just tired of my grandbabies being all in the media and lies being told on them, she continued. The situation is the situation. If this makes Pumpkin, Josh, Darren, Keeley or everyone else feel some type of way sorry but y'all know me I will say what I need to say. In the post's comment section, June confirmed that Pumpkin and Josh's divorce should be finalized in a little over a month. Clues, Mama June, already filming new season Are there some big clues that Mama June, Family Crisis has already started filming its new season? Recently, Dodo Shannon went on TikTok and shared that she had no idea if the show had been renewed. So, is filming already in process and does it have to do with all of the big life changes and events? Keep reading for more details. Clues Mama June already filming new season Mama June. Family Crisis just recently ended the season on July 19, 2024. Of course, diehard fans wonder when the new season will start again. 
more so, they're questioning if the series will even be renewed. It just came off of one of the most emotional seasons ever. June's eldest daughter, Anna Cardwell started out the season with stage 4 adrenal carcinoma and the show documented her progressively getting worse. The family had to come together for the sake of Anna while she had to make crucial decisions, in the end, she passed away and everyone was broken. Within a short time after Anna passed, her sister, Lauren, Pumpkin Eford filed for divorce from her husband of six years. However, there has been no confirmation that the show has been renewed. June's sister, Dodo Shannon shared she had not heard anything just yet but would post when she did. Once they knew, she would let June make the first posting. Now, a Reddit thread has been started and the op is questioning if the season has started filming. So, June has admitted that she only wears makeup and keeps her hair done while the family is filming. The first two screenshots are from her TikTok at the end of July. Full makeup, lashes, decent hair. They also pointed out that after the first two done-up snaps, Mama June started to let herself go. Therefore, followers questioned if the season took a break to figure out what's next. So, could the show have quickly started filming because of Pumpkin's divorce? Or, is June just feeling herself amid her drastic weight loss? She was also promoting a hair dryer so that could be a reason. Followers weigh in so, do Mama June fans and followers think the show is back in action or is it just a coincidence that June cleaned herself up? It was actually the complete opposite and they bashed her instead. That finger is screaming for dear life. Those rings need a rest. Some have also been watching old episodes of Here Comes Honey Boo Boo and are even more repulsed. I tried watching HCHBB, I was disgusted. They were absolutely repulsive. No manners, horrible language, gross personal habits. I can't believe these people used to have a TV show. I thought the version on now was bad. HCHBB is watching the dregs of society. And Alana's attitude. Therefore, no one has weighed in if they think she is filming or just posing for her social media. Hopefully, those who want the show to come back will get an announcement very soon. Mama June, Pumpkin Eford can't handle fans' heat amid cheating scandal. Mama June's daughter, Lauren, Pumpkin Eford cannot handle the fans' heat amid the alleged cheating scandal. She filed for divorce from Josh Eford on August 1 after six years of marriage, yet, it has been alluded to the idea that she had been with her current flame before she and Josh officially split. So, what are fans saying to her about being unfaithful? Keep reading for the details and her reaction. Mama June Pumpkin Eford can't handle fans' heat amid cheating scandal. When Josh and Pumpkin Eford split, there were rumors she had cheated. Within days, she was seen with a man named Darren Kitchens who is related to Josh. She was featured on his Snapchat and then they went to a Zach Bryan concert together where they posed happily. It came out that Josh and Darren's grandmother passed in April. Then, right after, Pumpkin and Darren got together which was seemingly the downfall of their marriage. It also looked like Josh had found a new partner but they were just good friends. Of course, it was hard for fans to find out that Pumpkin and Josh had split. They seemed happy and had four children together. More so, they helped raise Alana, Honey Boo Boo, Thompson and just went through the death of Anna Cardwell. That was extremely hard for Pumpkin and it was scary for Josh to see his wife so broken. Some fans questioned if this divorce was for ratings but now, with infidelity running around, Pumpkin is struggling to accept scrutiny. She had been doing a TikTok and it seemed so many followers were either coming at her or asking questions that she turned off the comments. A Reddit thread was soon started to discuss what was going on with Lauren, Pumpkin Eford. Ooh Miss Pumpkin can't handle the heat of her own actions? She brags about how she's not June but she's exactly like her. She deletes all the comments she doesn't like anyway, I don't see the point in turning them on in the first place. Trash hangs with trash and she's the worst Josh's problem. Some followers believed that Lauren, Pumpkin Eford would eventually turn all of this onto Josh Eford. She would end up making this his fault and his problem when it is her doing. Keep in mind, she says that this was a mutual decision between her and her estranged husband. So, it is only a matter of time before fans see if he lashes out at her or if she ends up flipping out on her fans. This is something that she has done in the past when she does not appreciate what they have to say. Do you think that Pumpkin should accept what her followers have to say or is she right for turning off her comments? Should she stay off of social media for the time being until the attention dies down? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.